Hello and welcome to a quick guide on Terra's summer event. Now in this video we're only going to be going over the Life's a Beach questline and the beach event itself and I'll come back to the other side of the quest in the Boulder's Refuge at another point in time. So to start off this quest you simply need to log into one of your characters. It doesn't matter which, you can do it on each character during the event time and you'll be given two quests and the one we want is Life's a Beach. Once you have that, you need to travel all the way over to this place over here and then come out through the Serpentine Isle exit and run all the way over to the beach area marked on your map. But once you are here, you'll need to talk to this little NPC standing behind a little bar table to start off the quest. You can't do any of the repeatable quests until you have done this little mini quest chain and then you can just basically do the repeatable quest every single day to get those little tokens which you can use to buy some nice rewards. Unfortunately, if you're on console, you cannot get any kind of free swimwear. You can only get gear and accessory cosmetics. So to start off, we're going to talk to this NPC over here who will give you a quest to go and play with a Papori. Now, this is one of the daily quests which you'll get after you've done the quest chain where you'll just talk to this chap over here. And once you've talked to him, you'll see these little sand piles all around here and you'll simply go up to it and activate it. Pressing F on PC, pressing X on controller, don't know what what about um, Xbox, but you get the idea. So you get this little quest where you need to collect 15. You can ignore that because you only need three. So there you go, that's number two and number three. Luckily, they respawn very quickly. So by the time you gathered your second, the first one will respawn. But now that you've got three sand, you just need to come to your inventory on consoles. It can be a bit tricky. So I recommend putting it onto your quick select wheel so that during the event, you don't have to keep going into your bag and activating it. You could just use the wheel to activate it whenever you need to. But we're going to activate it here and we're going to build a sand castle. Now we don't need to move. We can just stack this on the same place. So we're just going to keep using the sand and voila, we've just used all three and the quest is now complete. Next up, once you've completed that, he'll send you over to the little Melon Bash area. Now, this is a very, very simple game because you don't actually have to do any of it. None of it at all. You just talk to the NPC and he'll give you the quest. You then talk to him again to start the game. And then you can just stand here for the minute and let it time out. Your score only gives you a little bit extra money, I think. I don't think it gives anything else. But you can just stand here for the full minute and wait for it to complete. But I will say you can't walk away from the area. If you do walk away from the area, then the quest will simply fail and you'll need to redo it again. So it's best just to stay here. I don't know, maybe alt tab, play on your phone or whatever. And just like sit around. So here we go. The time is now about to end and voila. We done nothing, but the quest is now complete and we can move on. So once you talk to him, you come over to another event further down here. Let me just hop on my mount to speed this up. Now this is the same as the Melon Bash game. You don't actually have to do it. If you are planning to, you just hop on one of those cannons and shoot as many crabs as possible, but you, you just don't simply don't have to do it. So you accept the quest from him and then you have to talk to him a second time to start the mini game. And like before, you have one minute of just standing here or you can just use the cannons themselves if you want to pass the time. I personally just do something else and there is the event done. So this I can just talk to him hilarious. and just continue on and he'll send me across the water. Now this next step is basically you only need to do it for the main quest chain. Once this quest chain is done, you'll never have to go on the opposite side of the beach at all. You just need to do these three little quests, which is the sand, the melon and the water splash game. So I'm just going to fly across here and talk to the NPC. So when you talk to her, she has two quests. Now you don't want to do the beauty on the beach, you only want to do would you like to play a game. You can just ignore her other quest because that's only for like a little mini cosmetic I think it is. But it's nothing really worth your time if you're only interested in getting the good rewards from the actual event tokens. So she tells you to come over to this chap and he'll tell you to go get an item from Warthog which is just around this little corner past this little camp. You can't exactly miss it, they're basically always around here. And there's one of them right there. So here he is over here. He's level 49. It shouldn't be any problem if you're level 65. As you can see there, I just one shot him with my basic attack. And that gives you the guaranteed item you need to complete the quest. So we simply just go back to him and turn it in. So once you've turned in that quest, he'll then tell you to go and do this other little thing. Which is basically the ending of the little quest chain. So we come and talk to this person sitting behind the bar table. And voila. We have now completed the little mini quest chain and the repeatables have opened up as you can see on the map. We have got all these little red markers everywhere. 
These three, which I'm now running past, ignore completely. And the three over here are the ones we want. So I'll very quickly go over them once more because now we have the repeatables unlocked, the dailies unlocked even, you can now start collecting tokens, which can be used to buy the fancy stuff. So we can talk to this guy. He will then ask us to collect us the three pieces of sand again. And then we make the sand castles just by placing them in place. Doesn't really matter where you put them, you just stand in one place and drop them all down. And boom, the quest is done, we can talk to him. He will then give you the items you need, which will be to get the actual costumes and etc on PC. So on the PC version, the token themselves can give you some food. Or if you come over here, you can get some cosmetics. Now this is the item I was kind of hoping the console version would have, because it has a chance to give you a costume. Now unlike the year before, where this box only cost 30, it costs 150 now, so you're not going to get many chances to actually get a swimsuit out of it. In fact, I think you're more likely to get nothing out of it because of the sheer cost. Now, unless you have a lot of characters, it's going to take quite a while for you to get it, and depending on when you start on this event, will depend on how many costume attempts you can actually get. On consoles, I believe you can get slaughter gear and the gear tier above it, as well as some accessories, but you don't get any costumes. Now the melon game and the little water splash game over in the distance, they're exactly the same as I said during the little mission. You just accept them, stand there for a minute and turn it in and they give you your rewards. So anyway, I hope this has been a helpful little guide. I'll be back with another terror video some point soon. Bye bye.